percent. Children, in this image, Geeta is wearing a beautiful necklace which comprises of white and black beads. In total, there are 20 beads of which 10 are black. Can you suggest what percent of beads are black? Children, understanding the concepts of percent can help us get the answer. Percent is another way to represent per hundred or out of hundred. Hence, to find percent, we can build equivalent fractions with denominator as hundred. To convert a fraction into a percent, we multiply the fraction by hundred and place the percent symbol. In the beads example discussed in the beginning of the chapter, so the fraction of black beads is 10 by 20. To convert this in percentage, we multiply the fraction of black beads with 100. So, 10 by 20 into 100 is equal to 50%. Thus, 50% of the total beads are black. To convert a decimal into a percent, multiply the decimal by 100 or shift the decimal by two places to the right. Thus, 0 0.03 into percent can be written as 0 0.03 into 100 is equal to 3%. Similarly, 0 0.5 into percent can be written as 0 0.5 into 100 is equal to 50%. Children, just as we can convert fractions to percent, we can do vice versa and convert percent to fractions by dividing with 100. Hence, if we have to convert 25% to fraction, divide 25 by 100. So we get 1 by 4 as the answer. In the same example, if we do not simplify the fraction further, we can also represent it as a decimal 0 0.25. Raju has 70 pencils in his box, of which 30% are red. Can you tell how many red pencils does Raju have? Using our learning from the previous lesson, we can get the answer by finding percentage of the number. Thus. We divide 30 by 100 and multiply it with 70 to get 30 by 100 into 70 is equal to 21. Hence, Raju has 21 red pencils. Children, you shall observe that we often come across concepts of percent in our daily lives like percentage discount on an item I hope this understanding will help you to get answers to these regular problems.